This is an antique Hamilton upright piano. It says 1900, if I can get my flashlight out. This is 1900 Hamilton. And it says Hamilton is the logo right there. Not Baldwin Hamilton. There's the front panel. It's one of the old tall uprights. So let me shine my light down in there. I'm gonna go. Get a bit more light pumping through here. There she is. This hammer has been replaced. Because it hasn't been working. The practice rail thing is broken, it doesn't work. The pedal doesn't go down and it and it's like it's a really nice sounding piano on the bass. And has an okay high end. Hmm. Break point. Not that bad. Let's see the keys down on there. That's the typical style fallboard for piano at its time. Has the logos faded. Busted bridle strap. This key. Busted. Needs to be well, I think all of them need to be replaced. This one doesn't even have a bridle strap. No bridle strap. It's not the greatest condition. It works though. Without the bridle strap. I'm just glad that it works, but all those bridle straps need to be replaced. This one has some, a tear in it. Not that bad. Hmm. Damping doesn't go that far. Goes up to E. Sustain works. C and C sharp. Yeah, it's in Chicago, USA, Hamilton, which is in Chicago. It's a cabinet grand. It's typical, it has the typical fall board of any piano of its era. It's where you like, it's the one where it like shuts kind of, not like twice, but it has this style fall board where you open it like that. It's cool. Open it like that. Simple. Let's see if I can do this one handed. What? Again. Never key works.